copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 on YouTube. I do not own any of this. Their properties and their trademark belong to their respectable owners. So let's get started on this video. Hello everyone. In today's prehistoric documentary review, we're going to be talking about Animal Planets, Animal Armageddon, 2009. So let's go a little bit of history on this documentary TV series. So now that you know the history of this mini series. Let's get started on every prehistoric animal appeared in the show, and with some scrapped or cut prehistoric animals that didn't appear in the show. Once again, I already said it once, and I'll say it again. Their properties and their trademark belong to their respectable owners. So let's get started. Akasudians, a primitive jaw jawed fish. First appearance. Astrespis, a jawless fish. First appearance. Bophiolepis, or Lepis, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. The armored placoderm. First appearance. And here we have a cave lion. And here you have the conotaloid, most likely species is Atarapis, or Atarapis, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And here you have Desmatosuchus, and Dicynodonts, and Thocleosteus, a carnivorous placoderm fish. And here we have Elasmotherium. Now, in reality, Elasmotherium lived in Europe. It did not live in forests. If it did, it will die of heat. Eddie to Promorphodon, a pterosaur, and a Eupterid, most likely species of Megalograptus, a sea scorpion, a Eusteropodon. A lobe fin fish, primitive fish, and a falcon, giant rat, and gigantopithecus, and the shell's called hydrosaurus, but its actual species is Edmontosaurus inetans, Ichthyostega. Lystrosaurus, a synapsid. Megasystrodon, a small mammal. And here we have a Mosasaurus, 
and it looks really inaccurate. The body shape is wrong, and it does have a tail fluke. And here we have Phobosuchus, and there's a lot of inaccuracies. Phobosuchus was just a Dinosuchus. They give it a really narrow snout, like Sarcosuchus. It should have been alligator-like. And one thing, Phobosuchus slash Dinosuchus did not live 66 million years ago. It went extinct 7 million years earlier. So it should have already been extinct. And here we have Progetosuchus, a early archosaur that did not live in the Permian, but only appear in the Triassic. And Protoceratops. I could not find a screenshot of it, so... Yeah. Quetzalcoatlus. And Rhodiodon, an archosaur, not relative of crocodiles. Or crocodilians, to be exact. And up to the top is the shark species, Kleptonamnia, or Kleptonina, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And an ancestor of Otodontid. And the Sturicosaurus. And there's one inaccuracies. A few, actually. Sturicosaurus did not live in North America. It only lived in South America. Though given the fact that the continents were all connected and may have visited North America. But there's no fossil evidence of footprints if they ever did that. And Strychosaurus only went extinct in 25 million years before the extinction happened. Why did they pick Strychosaurus? Why not just use Coelophysis? Because that's just very, very poor, lazy work. And a Stegodon. Camelrosaurus, or in a shell called Straight Shell Nautiloid. And this super sized cockroach. I could not find a screenshot of it. And here we have Tarbosaurus, a close relative of T Rex. Theronoxodon, first appearance. And it did not appear in the Permian. It only appeared in the Triassic period. And Tiktaalik. And the Titanosaurs. Most likely species of Asian sauropod called Oscocoplidobilia, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And here you have Triceratops, Hortus or Porces. And a trilobite. But there are other species of trilobites. You know? It's nice that they included different species of trilobites instead of the generic one. The species of trilobites are Isodolus, a giant trilobite, and Leonaspis, and a protid and a protidae, a species of trilobites that made it to the Permian period. Ketanoraspes, Dacronaris, and T-Rex. And it looks really inaccurate. The body shape and the pronated wrists and hands. And it did not roar. Most likely the sound of bellowing. Only the sound of a bellow growl. Like from crocodilians. And a Velociraptor. And that model looks really familiar from a video game. It looks really familiar. Wait, it can't be. It's. Because that model in that color scheme looks like 
the Velociraptor from a game called Dino D-Day. This can't be a coincidence. I mean, this show was only in 2009. And how did Animal Planet not even get sued? Or especially Dino D-Day. How did they not get sued for copying that dinosaur from another? How did they not get sued? How did they do it? I mean, it's not like they can ask for permission to use it or anything. I might be wrong, so correct me in the comments below. What do you guys think? And a woolly mammoth. And here are the nautiloids. So that must be the strain. Shadow nautiloid and a cone nautiloid. And here's the Cretaceous ammonite. And I don't know what these three are. Might be fictional or not. And here we have the Gorgonopsid or Gorgonops if it's species. And here we have the American sauropod, Alamosaurus. And here we have the Sumatran leopard. I know what you're thinking. That's not real. But it is based on of a real animal called Sumatran clouded leopard. There are other subspecies like the Borean clouded leopard and etc. And the Truodon, and inaccurate, doesn't have no feathers. But now here in the today, we have all different species of Truodon. So I guess Per Victorious, a mammal, and it will give rise to primates or a relative of primates. And here you have Puma Puridoids, or sometimes. Sorry about that. Just the next door neighbor's dog that keeps barking. Sorry about that. Anyways, Puma Puridoids, also known as Eurasian Puma or Owens Panther. And I believe it is its first appearance in Adam Armageddon. You know, it's nice to include not so well known prehistoric cats. And now let's go to scrapped slash cut prehistoric animals that did not appear in the show. Plotodosteus, another carnivorous placoderm fish. Cut. And here you have Cherilopus. Or Lepis. Sebelepis. Ogdobania. A, a stem group of arthropods that has this long trunk like with the mouth on the end. Hallucigenia. A Cambrian animal cut from. Animal Armageddon and Gigantoraptor was also cut, but was replaced with Tarbosaurus. And I guess that's pretty much it. Looking back, when I watched this show when I was in middle school years, well, uh, it was okay, but with few inaccuracies about extinction events and, uh, etc. It was okay. Anyways, like and subscribe, hit the bell to know if I have new videos for new content. On the next documentary review I'll be doing Walking with Dinosaurs and later Land of Giants slash the Giant Claw or on a title called Chase by Dinosaurs. Until next time, see you later, guys.
and stay tuned.